New at 10, research into a revolutionary new drug to treat Parkinson's is happening right here in Colorado. 7 News reporter Jacqueline Allen shows us what's being done at CU that could change the way Parkinson's is treated. Oh, come on. <laughs> there was a time Karen Talcott, so I think I might do that, awesome. <laughs> didn't have time for her photography. These were two pictures that were taken after we renewed our vows. But four and a half years ago, I noticed a slight tremor in my right pinky. It felt like time stopped. Diagnosed with Parkinson's, this lifelong caregiver retired from nursing and needed care herself. I don't have a choice. I have to deal with this. I have to find my way through it. But groundbreaking research at CU Boulder could help people like Karen. We have been working on this uh, project for over eight years. CU professor Hong Hubert Yin, speaking to us from a conference in Beijing, led the team developing a brand new compound, this drug. Research shows it could stop misguided inflammation in immune cells thought to cause Parkinson's. Specialists say it would be a revolution in how Parkinson's is treated. If this particular medicine worked, it would be the first medication available that actually is treating the disease as opposed to treating the symptoms. It's still early, though. The drug will soon move into clinical trials. For Karen, this was in Alaska here. It's something to look forward to. This is a king size. Between learning to quilt. Here, let me show you this one. Photographing family vacations. Aren't those nice? And ballroom dancing. The silver lining is that I'm getting to know myself. Better. She's finally taking time to live. This was here. That was me. Jacqueline Allen, 7 News. Now, two biotech firms recently bought the rights to that CU drug for more testing and trials. And doctors we talked to say they can now tell newly diagnosed patients that within their lifetime, Parkinson's treatment will be revolutionized.